gentle bodies and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. I didn't stutter there, shut up. I'm here with Kles in his blonde ass hair. Fantastic guys, it's awesome. One of the few blonde people in Japan ever. Last time, if you'll remember, we made our way to Venezia or Venez... Venez... We made it to the place where the stuff happens, okay, so... I was just standing here, staring at my reflection, contemplating the reality of the world, wondering what my purpose is, wondering why I'm here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I do believe um, we have a few people to uh, explore. This world's the largest port. Whoop doop! All the ships come through here because we have bricks, and bricks are really valuable. I'm sure they were back then. You know. Oh, you can make bricks. Holy shit! can't believe that shit. Uh, wait, didn't we come in here last time? I think we did, so we're gonna, gonna stay in here. We're gonna ignore that picture of fruit that was on the wall. If you saw it in the split second I was in there. And, um, and uh, enjoy the beautiful fountain! Oh my god! Okay. Uh, nah, this place just looks beautiful. I, I, I love it. There are so many houses here, though, so we're probably gonna spend this first episode fucking just just fucking around, so, you know, get ready for that. Receptionist, do you have an appointment? No, I I usually just come by and ask bitches to, you know, make me coffee. <laughs> oh, your catering business. Oh, that explains these pots and, uh, and, uh, you know, you being a bitch. Okay, uh, <laughs> why does everyone have a nice rug? Just, it's all really nice. I thought those were expensive, Jesus. No, we make lots of mo we make mo money. Yes, money. We make lots of money from our prostitution rings. It's really helpful. Oh, it's Edwin. You guys remember him, don't you? I sure as hell do. Oh, uh, Edwin, you, you cockbag. Okay, what do you want? Nancy came up here to see you. Wow, she's stalking me. Isn't that kind of creepy? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You want to get in with that? Oh well. It is pussy, so why not? She's here? She's come all this way. Won't you at least say hello to her? Oh, well. I suppose I could, but if by hello you mean with my penis, I, I can do that too. But. <laughs> Tell her I'll meet her by the fountain, because apparently you are our delivery boy via messages. So, you should start a texting company, bro. You just, just, look at that speed. Just, mmm, mmm, yeah fastest messages this side of the Middle Ages, yeah. Morning with the host, we haven't been able to trade. Well, that's real handy. Can you get out of my way, Elowen? You're kind of a fag, okay. <laughs> Wait, was that even Elowen? No, I don't think it was. <laughs> Something secret is going on in Midgard Fortress. I know it. I smell deception in the government. I don't understand what they're up to. What's in that building? I will assume cocaine. Just, you know, until I see otherwise. Oh, well, thanks! <laughs> You're real handy! Uh, you know, those two big factions, they're enemies. Uh, what, when's the last time two big factions were friends? I mean, you know, well, I don't like the size of you. Well, I don't like the size of you. Well, then that's why we should beat the fuck out of each other. Mm, and now you know why wrestling exists. Um, <laughs> He's not able to trade with Midgard. I hope everything works out for Elowen. He's still our top seller. Why, well, of course he is. And you're just the little boy who who delivers all his afternoon tea. This is the lounge. The boss's office is over there. If you'd like to talk to her, please get the fuck out. <laughs> Hope the warp never comes this far. Where did he even come from? It's like he's a monster. Woo! Ah, uh, okay. This is some very nice fruit you have hanging all over the wall. What's up with that? And I assume you used to be a a soldier. Until you took a pfft! No, I ain't doing that. Um, who are you? You can't come in here without permission. I am in here! I'm all up in your grill! What you gonna do, bitch? I'm gonna take- I'm gonna t fucking just- I'm gonna shit on your flowers. You mad about that? Yeah, I'm gonna take them and gonna piss all over your paper, yeah. That's a nice biography you have. I hope it looks good with jizz. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I just kinda exploded there. I don't know what happened. Uh, we got a protectoring. That's nice. 
Contraception ring! It's good. It's called, uh, engagement ring. Ah, <laughs> ah that's funny. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, where are we going? Let's keep going, because we can make fun of folks this entire time. And that's, that's really all we really need to do. What are you doing living here alone, bitch? I'm... Mm, you're a teacher of magic? Wait, does that mean you're an elf? And by natural abilities, I assume you mean elves. Hey, hey, get over here! Oh! No, I'm just kidding. We were just playing hide and seek, son. Don't worry about it. I, I wouldn't. Hurt. Hold on one second. No, 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 no. no I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I wouldn't do that. Uh, class wouldn't do that. Class is a gentleman, obviously. Uh, what a gorgeous day. It is a gorgeous day. A decade of tone. A, a, a tone. A decade ago, this town had many elves living in it. I miss them. They're always so handy with the well carved wooden implements and the beautiful women that you just want to eat. Now, um, calm down, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking back to this one night. Okay, we don't need to hear more about you. Oh, hello, Mr. Boatman. Why, well, I'm smoking a pipe. All right. We will come back to him later because we actually need him to get around. But until then, we will get everywhere we possibly can via talking to people because we are bored. I wish I could learn magic, but I don't have a drop of elven blood in me. And if I did, I'd probably make it a spoonful and I'd eat it. Uh, you're just blood-hungry lust children. I don't know. I wonder where the elves moved to. I bet it was from away from you. Because you seem creepy. And I don't like your hat. What's this? Grocery store! Let's get some bananas! I want a banana. Hey, come on in. Oh, well, thank you. Do you have some bananas? These are... She does have a Twinkie, which is apparently entirely white now, so I guess it's a stick of lard. <laughs> More BHT. Uh, I, I I love I love Japanese jokes like that. They just you don't get them unless you know you're you, you know you know. Hello, Mr. Black. What's up? Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm Mr. White. Oh, well, where's Mr. Black? I was supposed to make dinner for my teacher and my sister. My father was a, and and what? Oh, and we were learning to use magic from our teacher. My father left us when we were children, but I hope to see him again someday. Why are you wearing all black? Are you emo? Or maybe you hope to conjure the dark sources of power. Every necromancer knows you need to wear black for that to happen. I need more royal permission from Alabamian government to get into the Moira Gallery. What am I getting hooked for dinner? What? what? Well, that was quite a transition you had there. Magical spirits used to be common, but nowadays it's rare to see just an elf. I'm a little concerned. Well, maybe we should be worried, you know, with all them guys out there killing elves and, and random magical spirits. Uh, can't wait to see my dad again. He's a fisherman. Oh, yeah. You're going to bring me a fish this big. Well, that's real that's real handy, Timmy. Yeah, you have really nice hands, Timmy. Can I, can I touch him? No. No, I, I said I wouldn't do this. All right, so I think we're good. So we're going to check out over here. We cannot go that way quite yet. Um, we are going to keep going this way. No, we are not. Um, can you do anything up here? I think you have to. See, this city is really confusingly designed. So it is like Venice. It's just like, oh, you need to sail down the river. What if I don't want to fucking sail down the river to get a bar of uh, fucking butter or something? Yeah. It's my birthday party. The mayor's wife. Brothers, former roommates, child's friends, birthday is very confusing. Yes, it is. I don't know what's up with you. I'm her older sister. That's all I ever say because that's all anyone ever asks me. I'm so lonely. Please stay for the party, random stranger. Please have a party with these small children. I'm sure they will love you. They're just throwing trivial questions back and forth. Well, thank you, Cloth. You're, you're quite the trivia master of disaster, especially considering who you represent in my mind, so, you know. We were talking about D Dementel. 
He left well possessed. <laughs> oh well, yeah. We we saw he looked possessed, but we didn't decide to tell any guards. You know, fuck guards. Who likes guards? Nobody likes guards. We were just talking about the wizard. Oh, he said the same thing. No. Your mid tail is a half elf wizard. He used to research magic here in Venezia, but last year he changed and moved to a castle in the West Islands. <laughs> I think he finally lost it, cause you know. We think he went evil because everyone evil event instantly like uh, buys a cat. It comes with a fucking plan, you know. When you buy a subscription to Evil Magazine, <laughs> they <laughs> please have a time share it with everyone else in this castle. Uh, let's inquire at the harbor. In case you didn't know, you actually needed to do that. You actually needed to talk to everyone to find that out. Uh, it's a birthday party. Oh, wait, I already talked to you. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> no, 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 why, why are they talking about, you know what, never mind. The mayor's house is huge, it is. It's chock full of fruit paintings and, uh, little girls, apparently. What? Wow, he's one hell of a mayor, I'll tell you that. They says we can't because we're in war, well... Your daddy is a faggot, so... Don't you know who I am? I'm the mayor of Venezia! Where do you come from? Well, we come from... Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm from South Elucid. Ah, Baladum. How quaint. Do you know Lenios? You know what? I hate the fucking... Just, uh I will never be able to do an RPG right. I can't fucking pronounce the city names. I get them wrong every fucking time. God damn it. Okay. Lenios, do you know what that is? Yeah, or who, who he is. God fucking... He's the village elder. Uh, really? He's actually my twin brother. Brother? Brother. He left this town ten years ago. If you see him again, tell him hello from me. Well, we were sure to do that for you. In the meantime, there is nothing up here of interest, so that's fantastic. Okay. I'm not sure if you had to talk to that guy, but I know you had to talk to somebody. Because you need to find out where Dementel went. Damn it, Dementel! How dare you have a name that strongly leads me to think you are demented. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, God. Th that mother never gave that kid a chance, did she? What are you going to name your child, miss? Well, I've considered a lot of names, and the only one that's really sticking to me is Dementel. Why are you going to name him Dementel? That seems kind of, you know, presumptuous. Well, you see, when I was whole breastfeeding him just now, because, you know, this is the Middle Ages, that's what we have to do, he kind of bit my nipple off. So I'm going to call him Dementel because he's a little bastard, and I want him to grow up to be evil and someone to kill him. Obviously. Fifty go for the ride. Hey, where can I take you, folks? We are going to go to each of them because. Blah 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 blah. I'm fake Italian. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. You know what I'm trying to say, though. It's, 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 this is a play on Venice, damn it. It's just, I had to say it. It's just, it's that easy to figure out, though. Come on. 